Hello again everyone, my name is Yogdog and welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome. Uh, we're going to be continuing once again with the Rome campaign. Uh, it's been a few days since I last recorded. This is uh, going to be an interesting one. So last time we did manage to beat up Epirus uh, and Syracuse. Syracuse has been completely subsumed but uh, Epirus still holds the heel of Italy. And will have to be dealt with at some stage. Um, I do have a couple of problems here. Uh, also, I should definitely do this, I think. Uh, Tindaris. Sulfurous interest. Excellent. Uh, so I need to take the rest of uh, this area from Epirus. In the meantime, I think I just probably develop ourselves economically here, so I definitely need to get some additional buildings down. Uh, I think this is the regional capital over here. Yeah, I'm going to get more grand theatres for assimilation speed. Hopefully we can stop any rebellions breaking out here. Yeah, this is just going to be a, a probably a, a relatively uh, complete the mission room in Italia. That's fine. It's going to be a relatively peaceful session for this one. I don't really fancy going to war against Carthage. I suppose I could deal with. I could deal with some of the minor nations over in Sardinia. Are these guaranteed by anyone? Yeah, I think I think that's what going to be what we do. Uh, in order to achieve that, I'm going to expand the fleet somewhat. some bigger ships built. That seems fine. So I'm going to be going after Gymnasia and everything over here. How big is our levy now? Uh, 38 in Italia, 10 in Magna Grecia, and then we got Cisalpine, Gaul and Raetia with uh, four apiece. I think I want to go harsh treatment here. Just to try and deal with the loyalty uh, penalties. Ah, another innovation. Excellent. Right, we're going to go more civic advances. It's going to be trade ports in Puponium. Tax, population capacity, you get two additional capital import routes. Ah, uh, sure. That seems fine. Uh, what are we going to import? Precious metals? Yeah. Let's get some national citizen happiness. Roma is prospering. Let's go five stability and lose five tyranny, I think. Yeah. Okay. We did get one belt already over here, did we not? We did. Uh, let's see. Let's go for maritime influx. I want some more population if possible. And I need Romans to move over here. Druidic Corsian. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, are there any? Um, before I forget, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to make sure that we enable automatic trade. Some of our more recent conquests. Uh, 497, so we're going to be a few years off of going after Epirus here. Do, 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 do. We can import Cinnabar. I think we should definitely do so whilst it's available. Uh, let's see. Sure, we'll take the last of the... What are you? Uh, ambitious. Yeah, I'll take the last of the holy items. So something I possibly need to look at again here are, are definitely forts. I don't think I need all of these. Uh, problem is I can't get rid of some of them. That's fine. Alright, four free province investments, legion recruiting costs, engineers, supply trade costs. Okay. I may just go for us for the province investments. Uh, we must help our brethren in Ostia. Okay. I don't think I need this for anymore. Or this one. The line of forts here in the south is already enough. So the Insubrians up to the north are going to be one of our next conquests. And our levies continue to expand in size, which is great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bountiful Harvest. I'll definitely take the additional gold there. I'm going to go down and try and get urban planning ASAP. Okay. Uh, next up, we are going to fabricate a uh, claim on Etruria. So, let's start doing that. Could just go after Alana. Uh, they're going to be reconquered before long. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, work of city building slots, import routes, population capacity. Let's see, population capacity. Do you want me to pass the Lex or Gulnio War? So the Optimates wouldn't be happy, but everyone else would be. Sure. Uh, let's see. In 10 loyalty, 10 political influence. I think we serve the gods here. Progress in the Senate. Hmm. Five tyranny, ten stability, ten loyalty. Or I can just grant the funds.
Let's grant the funds. Praise the God of the Sky. Uh, extensive religious renovations, Omen Power plus 10%, gain 10 approval, uh, as well as 10 popularity. Cool. So the other one is Grant Holdings, which I don't really fancy doing. Okay, let's continue to get more of the Grand Theatres down here. So PSA is going to be one of the next ones we do that with. Uh, so our levy has actually slightly gone down in size here. Probably because our pops are just moving around and adjusting. Let's go for another population capacity. And we are going to raise the main levy. for our next conquest. We're going to need to fabricate another claim here, possibly. Although, by declaring war on Sardinia, I'll bring everyone into the war anyway, so it's all fine. Now I'm hoping that between them, their navies aren't strong enough to contest me here. I don't really want to have to draw the other levies. Uh, maybe we can though. These are gonna go besiege, uh, probably gymnasia. Right, uh, in our capital, we are going to go for religious endowments next, I think. Okay, and uh, let's get ready. So we need to march south momentarily. I'm going to change from mercantile over to a bellicose stance. Right, so there's one fort to besiege in Gymnasia. Need a new religious researcher. Is there anyone with a relevant trait? You are 4274. You can go in charge for now, I suppose. Right, that's going to be easy enough. Merchant exemptions. Institute's Merchant Exemptions. Uh, so instead of Lex Claudia, the Merchant Exemptions. We'll use 50 approval from the Populares. Yep. Uh, 
Right, uh, we need to besiege two forts here, so... Oh, okay. No, I don't. That's Carthage. And it doesn't even have a fort. I'm gonna only besiege with half the force, so... They should be okay over it. My main concern is that they end up landing some troops over on the mainland, but we'll see. Expansion, uh, okay. Sure. Some additional province loyalty seems pretty good to me. Where's Carmoya? Uh, wow, they actually have. Sure, I'll we'll send some money to help out. Gonna go more citizen output. That fort is a bit lucky to win there. Caught me whilst I was looking away. That fort continues to uh, not want to fall. Can't be too many defenders left now. 192 men, apparently. There's no way I'm missing this many 49%, surely. Am I desperately unlucky or it's not actually 49%? Okay, both of them fall in quick succession. Excellent. So now I definitely need to besiege two forts. Okay, we have a truce. A thousand years of friendship. Interesting. Could be uh, could be quite helpful. Okay, so that's Rem completely occupied, which means this levy can be used elsewhere. Uh, low morale. Gain 10 loyalty. Uh, we don't care. We'll gain the, the low morale. That's fine. So we still have at least two more forts to have to besiege here. And we can start on the siege, uh, besieging one of them. There's a decent sized force nearby. Will help. Some of them are committed, but not all of them. Well, 
Right, let's go blockade whatever remaining ports they have here. One last fort to go. And then we need to crush uh, the remnants of our levies. I'm going to build a forum in Rome. Theatre down, I think. A new civic re uh, researcher is needed. better served by swapping you and then putting you in here. That gives me free researchers and uh, give me the chance of more innovations. Excellent. This is none of our business, that's fine. So I think they might be trying to march around here and I actually have to besiege here as well. Falls. And in two separate battles, we are able to deal with our forces here. Assuming they're going to retreat over to this area, in which case we'll just crush them. Okay, I think we can start piecing out some of these separately. guess we probably should start gathering our forces uh, ready to deal with Epirus again very quickly. Absolutely everything? I think it is. Excellent. So Sardinia is going to be a problem at some stage. But for now, that's fine. Administration. Excellent. 
Let's go disembark it, Valor. And uh, next up is going to be dealing with Epirus. Only allied with Ellis. So this should be a relatively easy war overall. Uh, let's see. Again, additional infantry in one of our levies. That's fine by me. Yes, I need to fabricate a claim here. It's going to take a year or so to do so, so... Uh, 220 odd gold lost. I'll gain 180. I'll gain 180. I'm going to want to take Tarentum, so let's fabricate a claim on Tarentum. I'm actually going to disband all the levies for now because we have a year or so before we can actually attack here. We're going to set our fleet to destroy pirates. Theatres down, ASAP. Especially in the northern regions, I think. I suppose I should do the same on Sicily, ASAP. Uh, let's see. Lose 108 gold. Lose 92 go gold. I lose the 92 gold. And. I'm going to strong arm. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Now, one of the things that I should have done this at the end of the war, really, uh, I should do here is break down all these forts. Because there's no way I need this many forts. And I can probably hold Sardinia just by put, stationing some troops there once we inevitably go to war at Carthage. Uh, so that's given us some more money, uh, plus the little bit extra we got from strong arming. I'm gonna get a theatre down over in Syracuse and probably Masana next. Yep, uh, that seems fine. Ooh, another breakthrough. Excellent. Let's go land type. So let's go moral education, the architect the architecture. Struggle to say that. And urban planning. And then between them, that's going to reduce the bill cost by 7.5%, uh, which is nice. Glass of Tucci. Over here. I'll do that at some stage, possibly. Gain six stability from the event, that works for me. In terms of technology, we're very close to getting level seven Marshall. We're a bit further off of getting level seven Civic, but uh, and we're not amazingly far off. Well, okay. Two thirds away towards level 7 religious. We're already at level 7 for oratory, which is nice, though. So. Okay. 
Time to raise the levies, I think. Get my fleet into position. In the meantime, uh, they haven't found any allies, which is excellent. Apologies if you can hear the background noise. My girlfriend is a bit ill at the minute. She has a bit of a cough. And my microphone is very sensitive. Okay, I could just attack here. I see no reason not to, honestly. I think I'll be fine. Magna Grecia needs a new governor. I think he'll do nicely. I'm going to split this into two forces. Okay. And we can bypass the fort here, which is nice. Well, I think it'll be a good way to end the episode here, honestly. I'm pretty happy with how that went overall. And in the next one, we'll just be mopping up Epirus, because I don't think they're going to cause us too many problems. So, I think it's going to be Epirus, then Macedon, then Southern Greece, and then after that will be Carthage. Uh, but that'll be in future episodes. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, in the meantime, if you do want to catch more content from me, I do stream every single day on my Twitch channel. Uh, I have done for the last 1,000 and something days at twitch.tv slash yogdog. Uh, and in addition, I now live stream every day on YouTube as well. At the minute, I'm doing a long play of Battletech, um, which is going to be saved on there for anyone to watch in future as well. Uh, but in future, I'll also be doing some Battle Brothers and some Star Sector. So, uh, And there'll probably be a few Imperator Rome things here and there as well. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.